MMA Weekly here with Ed Herman right after your win uh, and your comeback. Um, tell us about it in the in the ring. Uh, I saw you with your teammates uh, Ryan Schultz and uh, and uh, Fallis and uh, what, what, what it seemed like a lot of emotion was going through. Well, sure, man. It's been a long two years coming back after you know uh, having the career-ending injury, possibly. You know, I said it a few times now but you know it's it's overwhelming with, with coming back from that and you know questioning if I'll ever fight in the octagon again or, or if my knee's gonna hold up or you know you just don't know what's gonna happen so to get the opportunity to, to come back and, and win big like I did was just amazing for me. Was uh, what was said between you and your teammates? Any just any me words? thanking them for all their help and thanking them for being here and you know and you can't do it without a good team behind you man. You really can't. And you got to have good people behind you, you know, a uh, strong woman behind me, all that stuff. <laughs> so, uh, preparing for this, uh, were there any times during training that you thought the knee was going to give out, or not really? No, you know, I got back to training hard, and it, 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 you know, you're nervous at first with it, but it always felt great, man. I just, you know, it really held up well during all the training, and I was completely confident that it was going to be fine in the fight. So it wasn't a, a thought in my mind about my knee. So, uh, a very quick knockout, uh, very fast in fashion. Were you expecting the fight to end uh, so quickly? And I was hoping so, but you, know, <laughs> you never know, right? Uh, I, was, I was prepared for a three-round battle. I know Tim's a tough guy. He's hard to finish. I've seen guys drop him, and he recovers. Um, so I was just looking to, if I could hurt him, looking to jump on it and finish him. So I was surprised that I was able to knock him out, but at the same time I wasn't because I've been working hard on my hands. I feel like I'm, you know, my punches are stronger than they've ever been. So you know, I was I was stoked to be able to finish him. Yeah, you you knocked him down on the uh, on the top, and then you landed a perfect uh, right when you came down into his uh, into his guard. At what point did you feel like the fight you had finished it when with that first knockdown um, or I dropped him? And I saw him, you know, drop, and he looked, looked hurt. I, you know, it was like a dream. And I hit him with a couple big shots, and I saw his eyes roll back. And it was like in slow motion, man. And he lived, as soon as you know, her being jumped in, I was just ecstatic. Well, with such a huge win, you're obviously back, back to stay, and uh, it must take a load off the shoulders. Uh, who, who would you like to meet in the in the octagon next? You know, it does take a load off the shoulders because you know, coming back off a few losses and stuff, it's. it's it's good to win, and, and you know I know I'm fighting again. You know, and when you lose, you don't know. Like, right. You know, kind of what's going to happen with the rest of my career? So it's good to know I'm going to be back. Um, there's a lot of guys I'd love to fight. I'd love to fight the winner of McDonald and Belcher. Um, there's a lot of guys I would like to fight. Anybody in the top ten, man, bring it on. Uh, so uh, and and you know with such a quick ending, uh, how soon would you like to get another fight? You no, know, that's that's another great thing. Coming off, you know, not hurt, not injured. Um, hopefully, you know. I can get something right away, you know what I mean? Being out two years financially, I need, you know, I can use the money, so it'd be great to get back in there and get another big fight and, uh, you know, make my career take that next step forward.